So once you've been using R for a while, you'll realize that R does have updates um, every few months, um, any time between about three and six months, I would say, to kind of look out for an update. Um, so um, you'll probably want to be familiar with how to update R either you know, during the course of the semester or if you continue to use R um, after the course is over. So there's a couple ways to do this, and it might um, also depend on whether or not you're um, using a um, Apple computer or if you're using a Windows operating system. So um, the first thing I'll just kind of point out here is I just um, Google searched updating R, and I'm going to start here with this three methods to update R. Um, so um, if you're a if you're using a Mac operating system, I'll go ahead and tell you right now the simplest thing is to go ahead and just reinstall R. Um, so not necessarily R Studio. R Studio doesn't have to be updated regularly. Honestly, I don't update my R Studio very often at all, even though there are little updates that you know affect some some cosmetic things. Um, but R would be like the actual engine, and that is something that you would need to keep um, kind of updating as um, as needed. So you would actually go back to um, the R project. You would go back to that um, file that you click on and you would just um, reinstall R basically from, from scratch again. Um, if you're a Windows user, um, you could do that as well, um, but I will just kind of mention that um, there is um, a package that's available that works specifically for Windows user. It's called Install R, um, and it can help you um, uh, keep your packages usually um, if it if it works correctly. Um, so that's why I kind of mention it again. You can um, just install R again from scratch if you want to, um, but I will just kind of show you how to use this package because it's very it's very handy and it's very um, convenient to use if you can. So it's called install R, and if you want to use it, um, I would actually go into your original R. So not an R Studio, but the R GUI, um, R G U I. And I would um, go ahead and run this package and then run the installation. So I'm going to go back to my newest um, R GUI. And uh, the package is called install R. So if you've never installed it before, you would need to install it. Once you've installed it, you don't need to do it again. Um, so I would, I would run that. I already have it, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Um, and then once you've done that, you would just activate the package with library like any other package. So again, I just press enter because there's not a run button in, in clear sight, but I just press enter. Okay, so now if you run the command update r, you know, I always forget, is this a capital R? I need a, yes, okay. So it's a capital R, so if I click enter, you're gonna get a pop-up and it's gonna tell you if, you if there's an update. So in my case, Right now, there is no new update. I have the most updated version at this time. Um, but if there was a new update, it would um, prompt you and it would ask you if you want to go ahead and do that, and you could click yes. Um, so if you click yes, um, I'll just want to point you to this other helpful link that comes up um, from rstatistics.com, is this would be the series of pop-ups that you're going to see when you do that. Um, so this would be what you see, that there's a newer version of R. You can click OK, or you can X out if you don't want to do it at the time. Um, you probably don't wish to receive news, I'm going to guess. Um, do you wish to install the latest version of R? Yes. You're going to wait through um, this installation. Uh, select your language, more installation. Do you wish to copy your packages from the older version of R to the newer version of R? Yes. So this would help you save some time. And, um, and copying over your package so you don't have to install them all over again. Um, if you're a Mac user, by the way, and you're still with me, um, if, you, if you install R from scratch, you're probably going to have to install all of your packages over again. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't use a Mac operating system, so if there's, a, if there's some kind of shortcut, I don't know about it, but maybe there is some other option out there. But if you are installing for the first time, I, I believe you're going to have to install your packages again. Um, so you can do that. Um, this site also recommends that you go ahead and keep your packages. So um, the way it works is every time you have a new version of R, it creates a new folder in your R folder that has the version name. And all of the packages that you ever install, including all their, their subset packages, are going to be in there. So, so this, this site just recommends you go ahead and keep them just in case. Um, 
And then there should be a process where your packages get copied. Um, and then uh, you, can, you can click yes, I guess, here. Um, do you wish to update your packages in the newly installed R? Yes. OK. And then you can click yes. All right. So I will also go ahead and just give you a mention here that if for whatever reason your packages don't move over correctly, because every once in a while there might be an issue and your packages don't get copied over into the new version, um, you know, you might just have to install them all over again. Um, there's also this helpful check for package updates. Um, so you might find this helpful. So, you know, just from time to time, even when you're not updating R, um, you might find it helpful to check this and see that there are um, newly available versions of packages that you already have. So in this case, actually, ggplot2 has um, a new update that I haven't installed yet. Um, so that might be um, helpful to keep in mind.